Hello again. This is Bradley Math for Summer 22 coming to you from the College of DuPage. The title of this lecture is Final Thoughts About Upcoming High Stakes Assessment. As always, please be attentive while watching this video. By way of introduction, with a major assist from Jesse and my testing mates, your midterms are good to go in the coming week. We also hope you are close to being ready as well, but there's still time to uh, prepare. And as reported earlier in the syllabus, so the uh, midterm interval uh, runs from July 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. So that is the target time for you to take the midterm. The class will be ongoing during this time. Uh, you have many options. Uh, the brick and mortar testing at either Addison, Glen Ellen, Westmont, Naperville, or Carroll Stream is my recommendation. It is safe and it is flexible and less turbulence for you. Uh, but that's recommended circumstances preventing. Some of you may be required and are pro likely going to be using the virtual testing center. And we've talked about processes for those as well. Uh, either place you go, uh, you'll be using Blackboard as the testing venue. And this is because of COVID, COD, VCMs, dot, dot, dot. Nobody wanted it this way, but that's what we have. So one thing is Jesse and I prepared for you a dry run practice area in Blackboard. That's good practice. I'd recommend you do that. That gives you opportunities to think about putting math into Blackboard. There's also a place for PDF uploads uh, of your, uh, your work. Now, this is only required if you're doing the VTC, and this must happen within five minutes of submitting your exam. So be prepared how to do this and, uh, and upload that for potential partial credit. Everybody, whether you're in a brick and mortar testing area or in the VTC, is going to be clicking on the midterm exam in Blackboard. And I'm showing you what happens here if you click that uh, in Math 2232, but this is very similar for Math 2245. And so what will happen is once you click that in the main Blackboard, you will go to this kind of a space. There is an exam for regular time and there's an exam for extended time. You might think, oh, I just will take the one for extended time. Well, you won't be able to do that unless the proctor allows you entry to that. So make sure that you have your accommodations lined up with the proctoring folk and, uh, and with me. Uh, and then if you, uh, if you uh, click that, uh, you'll come to the uh, midterm exam. Now there are time limits. The standard time limit is an hour and 50 minutes. And uh, the test will save and submit automatically when the time expires. So make sure that you've gone through and are actually uh, putting your answers in as you go, because some students work things and then they say, oh, it submitted before I got to put my answers in. That's kind of not a good thing to do. And so uh, be submitting your answers as you go along. Uh, there is forced completion. Once started, this exam must be completed in one sitting and don't leave the test. Uh, and if you do finish the test, you save and submit. Okay, now this is uh, what you really see at the beginning, something more or less like this. But to begin, you will click Begin. But immediately, and this is the same for 2245, you'll be prompted for a password. And your proctor will be the one entering this password or providing it for you. And so this is password protected, and um, that is one of the levels of security uh, that we have. Once you've entered the password, your clock starts. And so that's an important. Uh, now, uh, both all of these exams, including 2245 and the 2232, are similar in these regards, actually. Uh, there, each of these exams has 12 equally weighted questions on the exam. Some of them might be having multiple parts. Now, this is the same and very important for you to understand. Final answers must be entered into Blackboard 
for the problem to yield credit for the student. You see there's a major hacking uh, thing if you don't do this. So answers must be entered and in fact the answers must be a credible answer because someone says oh I will just enter two for all the problems and then I will uh, have my friends or my posse uh, all work on different problems and send me the PDFs and I'll upload the PDF that is different. So final answers must, authentic final answers must be entered into Blackboard for the problem to yield credit for the student. Don't miss out on that. And I say please enter your answers as you do the test. It's critical you follow this instruction. Uh, students testing in the brick and mortar testing centers will have scratch paper that will be collected by the testing agents in the virtual uh, centers and this will be evaluated for partial credit for the questions where an authentic final answer has been input into Blackboard. Now those testing in the virtual center will have five minutes from the conclusion of the exam to upload a PDF of their work to Blackboard. Now again, uh, if there is an authentic answer in Blackboard, but only if there's an authentic answer in Blackboard, these PDFs will be evaluated for partial credit um, and your examination is timed. We talked about that, that before. The standard time is 110 minutes. The clock starts when you enter the password provided by your proctor and will auto-submit if the time expires. And the accommodations will be handling by the proctors, so make sure that you're uh, in lockstep with the proctors as you're uh, doing this so you get into the right exam. Uh, now, um, and, and by the way, even though this says Math 2245, this applies to Math 2232 as well. Those testing in the brick and mortar testing centers need not upload a PDF because they're going to have their work um, with their name on it uh, included for me to evaluate for partial credit. Now, those doing the BCT, VTC, will have five minutes to upload their PDF. Uh, in closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. Now more than ever, take care of yourself because self-care is important. And take care of each other because we're all in this together. God bless you all. Look forward to seeing you in class.